marhaba mtazamaji karibu tena na shukrani kwa kuendelea kusalia nami kwenye KT News na kuungana nami katika sehemu hii ya jarida ambayo kwa kawaida ni ya mazungumzo leo ikiwa ni siku ya mwisho ya Juma hivyo tutakuwa tunazamia matukio ya wiki tutakuwa tunaangalia masuala mbalimbali yaliyoibuka na kugonga vichwa vya habari Juma hili studio ni nikiwa nitamhusisha mheshimiwa wa Kennedy Ondeka ambaye ni mratibu wa chama cha UDA mkoa wa Nyanza na vile vile nitakuwa namhusisha Augustine Omondi ambaye ni mchanganuzi wa masuala ya kisiasa ndani ya muda usio kwa mrefu lakini kwa sasa niruhusu nizamie taarifa hii ambapo omena au daga huchangia pakubwa katika utoshelevu wa chakula nchini Kenya ila yapo machache yanostahili kufanyika ili kupata uwezo kamili wa omena thamani ya bidhaa hii huanza kupotea kwa sababu ya uchafu wakati wa uvuvi thamani hiyo hupotea hata zaidi kutokana na joto na miundombinu mibovu inayotumiwa kuhifadhi daga kama anavyoripoti Bramwell Bwire Hatua hiyo huenda ikabadilika haswa baada ya vikundi vya wavuvi nchini Kenya, Uganda na Tanzania kwa kuanza kupata mafunzo ya uwezesho wa jinsia ya majinsi ya kuongeza thamani ya uhifadhi wa sahihi wa omena. Omena kwa kawaida wanavujulikana kuchangia takriban asilimia sitini kwa jumla ya uvuvi wa samaki wa zaidi ya tani laki moja na sitini katika ziwa Victoria hata hivyo aina hii ya samaki imepata hasara kubwa baada ya kuvuliwa kwa sasa asilimia ishirini hadi hamsini ya thamani ya omena hupotea wakati wa uvuvi kushughulikia mambo yanayosababisha hasara kunaweza kuongeza riziki mapato na utoshelevu wa chakula na lishe kwa maskini kwani omena kwa jumla ni nafuu kuliko aina nyingine ya samaki hii samaki aina ya daga inaweza enda hadi kiwango cha international level only if we follow the right procedure na tukaweza kupackage vizuri tunaweza kupata hela kwa wingi na nikipata ambacho kinaweza kukuza na kuinua uchumi si haswa zaidi iwe ni samaki aina ya Nile patch peke yake hata pia omena ina manufaa mengi I don't have enough space to dry my omena and again we have been challenged here that we can use so many methods not only the sun but we can use so many methods to dry omena one is deep freezing we can deep freeze omena and then pack it direct to the market matumizi moja muhimu ya omena ni kwenye utengenezaji wa chakula utajiri wake wa protini, vitamini na madini bidhaa hiyo inakaushwa kwa jua kwa kawaida huweza kusagwa poda inaweza kujisimamia kivyake au kutumika kutarishaji wa mulo maalum supu na mchuzi apart from just selling omena as dry as it is what are other products we can get from omena we have the paste omena paste so that is a product you can make for us this paste once you make it well you can use it to eat it with bread apart from the omena paste you can have omena butter paste so there are some children back at home or some people they don't like eating omena as it is so if you make it to a paste and add it to the butter paste you just have your butter paste uh, butter uh, peanut butter then you add the omena powder then you mix well and use you eat with very delicious we are going to taste after this iwapo miundo mbinu sahihi na usimamizi sahihi utazingatiwa omena na bidhaa zake zinaweza kusafirishwa kwenye maeneo yenye ukame na njaa Biashara ya omena si tu inahitaji mtaji mdogo ila pia inaweza kukaa zaidi ya mwaka mmoja baada ya kukaushwa. The quality and the value of the fish is high and also the nutritional value in terms of uh, feeding our population and you find that really omena is one of the fish species that is affordable and you eat it whole. When you eat omena you eat the head you eat the tail you eat the body and you get all the nutrients in the fish at once we already developed a blue economy strategy uh, for Kenya which is in final, in final stages uh, in 2023 uh, uh, the government also developed uh, the fisheries policy uh, all these are geared towards integrating blue economy issues uh, there is a blueprint for development of blue economy in Lake Victoria region under LREB. Ili omena itumike kuongeza akiba ya chakula nchini, itumike kutengeneza dawa na bidhaa za viwanda, kuna haja ya kuwekeza katika teknolojia ya kisasa na itakayofikishwa kwa mvuvi wa kawaida. 
there are race racks which you can even use to cover the omena and even if it is raining you can still use the polythene bag to cover it so you are not supposed to spread omena direct on the ground number two we are promoting the use of solar dryers so solar dryers is like a greenhouse with grace, uh, race racks and this even a way when it is raining you can have heating chamber which supply heat into the system so you don't need to rel rely on the natural ecosystem sun for omena to dry <laughs> Japokuwa uvuvi huchangia pakubwa kwa pato la nchi hii inaweza kuongezeka iwapo tu teknolojia ya kisasa itazingatiwa na kupunguza hasara baada ya kuvua. Bramwell Bire, Kete News, Kisumu. Na mtazamaji sasa nitakuwa nalifungua jamvi la mazungumzo.